So, is MK going to become a villain? The Inca said to MK that he would cause immense chaos and destruction. And then there's the fact that the Inca was urging MK to embrace his power. You can't escape it. This thing, whatever you are, embrace it. And MK did indeed embrace his power in the season 4 special. He embraced his powers and monkey self, and when he did that, not only did he look scary, but he acted very differently. He acted more vicious and vengeful. In fact, he showed himself to be more powerful than we have ever seen Sun Wukong. And the thing is, right? We still don't know why MK exists, or who even made him. Someone made the choice to make a super powerful being, and they did this for a reason. And what is really interesting is that, way back in Season 1, Macaque told MK he is a weapon. Twice. Remember, you don't use a weapon! You are a weapon! So maybe this was foreshadowing, and MK really is a weapon. Maybe that is what he was made for. Maybe that is what this vision MK had was about. And the thing is, I think MK is actually under the influence of an evil demon, potentially possessed. I think this demon that is either possessing MK or influencing him is linked to Macaque and his shadow powers. So, in Journey to the West, the book Monkey Kid is based on, the six-year Macaque does not have shadow powers. However, he is described as having the same powers as Sun Wukong, and there is a reason for that, which this video explains. Anyway, the point is, in Monkey Kid, Macaque has a lot of the same powers as Sun Wukong, like in the book, but he also has shadow powers, which was not a thing in the book. However, the creators of the show talked a bit about Macaque in this interview, and what they said seemed to indicate that there is a reason they gave Macaque shadow powers. Additionally, this scene seems to imply Macaque didn't originally have shadow powers. So, why and how exactly does Macaque have shadow powers in Monkey Kid? Well, in Journey to the West, there is a character called the Python Demon, who appears in Volume 3, Chapter 67. Now, while there aren't any shadow demons in Journey to the West, I'd say the Python Demon is the closest there is to one, as in the book, the Python Demon is associated with darkness. When the Python Demon comes, the clouds and wind come with it, and it departs with the mist and fog. Additionally, when it comes, it is said, massive black clouds cover the starry sky, and that lamps and lights fade as the whole earth grew dark. Essentially, the Python Demon causes wind, darkness, fog, and black clouds. I can easily see this being interpreted or adapted as shadows, especially as Monkey Kid does have a history of adapting the Journey to the West villains to not be 100% the same as they were in the book. For example, in the original book, Lady Bone Demon's only goal is to eat the monk's flesh, and Spider Queen isn't even in the original book, although she is clearly inspired by the seven spider sister demons. So, it is not that much of a stretch to think that the Python Demon who causes darkness and black clouds would be adapted into a shadow demon in Monkey Kid. The point is, I actually think Macaque made a deal with the Python Demon, and then the Python Demon gave Macaque his shadow powers, and there is actually a significant amount of evidence for this. So, throughout the Monkey Kid Season 3 sets, we see these red monkeys. According to the sets, these are Macaque's shadow clones. However, in Season 1, we already see what Macaque's shadow clones look like. And the clones in the show and the clones in the sets look nothing alike. They are not even the same colours. The clones in the show are purple slash magenta, while the clones in the Season 3 sets are bright red. Additionally, some of the initial concept art for Season 3 was released. Here we see Macaque at the top, and we see some of his shadow clones on the sides. Despite Macaque's powers always being purple or purple-pink themed in Season 1 and Season 2, in this concept art he is emulating a red aura, and his clones are red in both this concept art 
as well as in the Season 3 sets. So, clearly, there was something significant planned for Macaque in Season 3 to cause such a drastic colour palette shift and change to the clones. Whatever was planned for Macaque in Season 3 was obviously cut out, possibly because they couldn't fit it in. Now, guess what demon is red in Journey to the West? That is right, the python demon is a giant red snake, and it is pretty much the only red demon. Also, the faces of Macaque's shadow clones look awfully similar to a snake head or skull. So, I think Macaque made a deal with the python demon a long time ago, which is why he has shadow powers, and that deal is why he is red themed in this concept art and why his clones are red and so drastically different in the sets. Think about it. What if there are consequences to his deal with this shadow demon? And what this is depicting is consequences are catching up to him and he's becoming corrupted. Hence the colour palette change. Now, aside from the concept art and the clone minifigures, there is something odd going on with Macaque's face marking. Now, Macaque's face marking is very weirdly shaped. It doesn't look like your typical monkey face marking. It is spiky and pointed and red. This is a really odd design choice, especially as Macaque is obviously a Macaque. But there are no Macaque species that look like this. So, what if Macaque's face marking used to look more like Sun Wukong's? And the thing is, in the Flower Fruit Mountain set, Macaque's minifigure face has two sides, with two very different face markings. On one side, he has the face marking he has in the show, and on the other side, he has one that is lighter and much more similar in shape to Sun Wukong's face marking. And while you may be thinking that they misprinted Sun Wukong's face marking onto Macaque's face, you can actually see that this face marking does in fact have tiny little spikes. So maybe Macaque's face marking was originally the same as Sun Wukong's, but because of the Python Demon's influence, it started turning red and grew spiky. But wait, there's more. In the Season 3 sets, we can see Macaque's face marking has grown larger and spikier. So, based off his minifigures, it seems to be growing. So, what if Macaque's face marking started like Sun Wukong's and grew bigger and redder and got spikes? Lining up all the faces, you can see the progression of how Macaque's face marking would have grown. And what is crazier is that we already know for a fact that demonic influence can change monkey face markings. When Sun Wukong got possessed by Lady Bone Demon, his face marking turned blue. So I think the fact that Macaque's face marking seems to have turned red and gotten bigger and spikier is linked to how he is completely red themed in this concept art and how his clones are red in the season 3 sets. Which of course is all because of the python demon. The consequence of Macaque's deal is that he is slowly being corrupted, causing his face marking to slowly get redder, larger, and spikier, and causing his powers and clones to become red. Additionally, the python demon is described as having scarlet clouds covering his body. And what do you know? These patterns on the front and back of the clone minifigures look an awful lot like red or scarlet clouds. And then, in season 2, we see Macaque wearing this robe. And on it are red clouds. Like, there is clearly something going on here. Anyway, so I've established that I think Macaque made a deal with the python demon. But why do I think the python demon is possessing or influencing MK? Well, I already said that I think that the python demon caused Macaque's face marking to get spiky. But in Season 1, Duplicat Nation, we see something very interesting. At the end of the episode, there are all these clones. And they all have grey face markings. And we see in multiple scenes that these face markings are spiky just like Macaque's face marking. We also know these face markings are not shadows because the clones still have these face markings when they are glowing, right before they explode. All these clones also have red eyes, and like I mentioned before, the Python Demon is associated with the colour red. 
Now, something significant is that I don't think these are direct clones of MK. I think these are actually clones of Party Clone. The thing is, near the end of this episode, MK thinks he got rid of all the clones he made, but then he realizes he forgot one. Party Clone. <laughs> I think that's the last one. Oh, wait. Yet, Party Clone has all these other clones with him. His boys. You wanna get to me? You gotta go through my boys! <laughs> well, I don't think it is likely that MK made hundreds of clones and forgot about them. So this leads me to believe that they are clones of Party Clone, which would partly explain why all the other MK clones look normal, but these clones look so different. These ones would be copies of a copy, so the quality decreases. So, I think there is a strong possibility that maybe Party Clone encountered the Python Demon, and the Python Demon maybe gave Party Clone some of their power, which would explain why his clones have red eyes and spiky face markings. Additionally, Party Clone's character arc actually mirrors the six-eared macaque's arc in Journey to the West. Party Clone was made from MK. The six-eared macaque was made from Sun Wukong. They both pretended to be the original. They both have the same powers as the original. They both tried to kill the original's friend. They both fight the original. And they are both defeated by being hit in the head by the original with the staff. Anyway, we know MK actually absorbed all of these clones and Party Clone. We know this because he was able to manifest Party Clone again in later seasons. So, I think, because of this, MK is infected with the Python Demon's power. And the thing is, it is honestly a bit weird that MK always summons Party Clone. So far, Party Clone has been in every single season. Perhaps this is because Party Clone will become quite relevant to the plot. Anyway, in Season 1, a few episodes after the cloning episode, is the episode where MK meets Macaque. And Macaque does this, which seems to maybe also be infecting MK with his power. And Macaque uses this purple energy staff, which is clearly linked to his shadow powers. But in Season 1, Episode 9, we see this in the montage when Macaque trains MK. MK generates shadow energy weapons just like Macaque. Evidently, he is infected with Macaque's power. So, I'm thinking maybe MK was infected with the dark shadow energy of the Python Demon before he met Macaque via Party Clone, but then perhaps Macaque purposely caused this dark shadow energy within MK to grow even more. And maybe Macaque didn't do this intentionally, at least consciously, because there is clearly some master villain who messed with Azure's memories, as Azure could not remember how he escaped the underworld or how he got the scroll, and only even thought about it when he was directly asked. It is like there was some sort of mental block preventing him from questioning things. So, I would not be surprised if a similar thing happened with Macaque. Perhaps Macaque's mind was programmed to infect MK with his or the Python Demon's power, but Macaque himself is not consciously aware that this happened. Now, maybe Macaque's power completely left MK after this scene, but having MK use purple shadow energy weapons seems like a pretty significant thing for the writers to add in and not expand on. And it was also a clear decision to have all these MK clones have spiky face markings. And they consistently had them. However, since season 1, there has been more evidence that MK has been infected with Macaque or the Python Demon's power. In season 4, when MK is fighting the Ink Curse, it pretends to be him. It takes his form and uses his voice, and it speaks with the knowledge of MK's own mind and memories and it has the shape of MK's monkey face marking. But when it is fighting MK, we see this scene. Here it has this face marking. It is much more pointed, and while it doesn't exactly resemble Macaque's face marking, it does resemble the face marking on Macaque's symbol. 
And then there is this scene where the ink curse's face marking is more pointed again. Maybe the ink curse knows a lot more than it let on. And remember how the python demon is associated with red clouds? Well, on MK's season 4 special power-up suit, we see red clouds. Like on Macaque's cloak. There's also how, in Shadowplay, there's a scene where Macaque is mocking MK for thinking he was like the warrior in the story. And in that scene, we see MK's shadow morph into Macaque. Could this be foreshadowing or implying MK is slowly being infected by Macaque and the Python Demon's power? But anyway, all of this together is pretty suspicious. The red clouds on the suit, the face marking on the ink curse, MK using shadow energy weapons, and the spiky face markings on the clones. What I think might happen is that all of this could be leading up to the Python Demon fully infecting MK with their power and turning him evil, effectively possessing him. And the Ink Curse calls MK the Harbinger of Chaos. A Harbinger is like an omen. It is something that announces or indicates the arrival of something else. So when the Ink Curse calls MK the Harbinger of Chaos, it is not saying MK will necessarily be causing chaos. It is saying that MK is a sign that chaos will happen soon. And perhaps the causer of this future chaos is the Python Demon. Anyway, something else I noticed contributing to my theory is that MK has had a lot of parallels with Macaque. First of all, MK directly related to Macaque in the Shadow Play. But there is also the fact that Macaque is blind in his right eye. And as this person has pointed out, there seems to be an awful lot of scenes that foreshadow MK losing his left eye. And... Both MK and Macaque are made from Sun Wukong, sort of. In the book Monkey Kid is based on, Journey to the West, the 6 year Macaque is actually made from Sun Wukong's mind. This video explains it in depth, but it is a very interesting topic. Anyway, then in Monkey Kid, MK is made from Sun Wukong's stone. So MK is made from Sun Wukong in the show, and Macaque is made from Sun Wukong in the book. Also. Then there's the whole thing about how Macaque and Sun Wukong were best friends. But Sun Wukong's decisions hurt Macaque, which somehow ended up in them fighting each other. And the thing is, Sun Wukong has messed up a lot in Monkey Kid, especially with the whole Samadhi fire thing. And MK is beginning to doubt Sun Wukong. What if someone, like the Python Demon, takes advantage of all this and corrupts MK and turns him against Sun Wukong? like what likely happened with Macaque. Not to mention, all the parallels between Party Clone and the story of the Sixed Macaque in Journey to the West. Now, MK being possessed or taken over by the Python Demon could result in Macaque having to admit that he made a deal with the Python Demon. And maybe the Python Demon is trying to possess Macaque in a way too. Like sure, Macaque may have gotten his shadow powers from the Python Demon, but from the look of his season 3 concept art, it looks like the Python Demon's power is fully overtaking him, especially since it seems like Macaque's face marking is growing. So what if it just continues to grow, like a disease? And like I said before, since this was concept art for season 3 and these red shadow clones were in the season 3 sets, the Python Demon and their effect on Macaque was likely going to be explored in Season 3. However, we are getting closer and closer to Macaque's backstory being fully explored. We still don't know how Macaque and Sun Wukong met, or why Sun Wukong killed Macaque. So if I am right about Macaque making a deal with the Python Demon, then it will get revealed when we get Macaque's backstory, which should hopefully be soon. Now, as to why Macaque would make a deal with the Python Demon in the first place? Well, there are multiple possible reasons. Maybe he just wanted to be more powerful. Or maybe, and this is what I'm leaning towards, Macaque was a hair clone of Sun Wukong, and he made a deal with the Python Demon, which caused him to become a permanent being. Since, you know, hair clones can just be poofed away. If the idea of Macaque being a clone of Sun Wukong sounds crazy, I did make this video to fully explain that theory. 
and I am planning on making an updated video about it. But my main points are, he looks a lot like Sun Wukong, he has a lot of the same powers as Sun Wukong, we know clones can develop their own personalities in Monkey Kid, and like I mentioned before, in Journey to the West, the six-eared macaque is actually made from or part of Sun Wukong. Before you go, I just want to announce that I will be selling Journey to the West pins and keychains in my store starting August 9th. The collection includes Monkey King staff, the six-eared macaque, Monkey King himself, and the circlet. There is a limited amount, but if they sell out, I will open pre-orders for the next batch, and I might even add some new designs. I also have a Critters collection coming August 9th as well, featuring a Kiwi Kiwi, a Donut Cat, a Cat Cactus, an Ice Cream Cat, and a Sea Bunny. Anyway, thanks for watching, feel free to like and subscribe, and check out my other theory videos as well as my Monkey Kid animations.